What's up guys, Dark Dally here for the first episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands Character Build Week. And so, as you may know, we're doing some interesting stuff this week. I want to go ahead and say this now. Here's what we're doing. Um, usually I would do my character builds every Tuesday. Now you guys know I've missed the last few weeks, probably like the last month. I haven't been doing them. And, uh, but I'm totally revitalized, ready to go again. And I want to do something different for the first, for my return build. And what I want to do differently is I'm going to spend this whole week up until Tuesday, which is the normal release date, so the, uh, the next seven days... Um, I'm going to let you guys in behind the scenes and help me out with suggestions and whatnot, and maybe we can work together and build a really cool character build. Because you guys always have your input, and I always listen to it, but I can't implement all the ideas. Maybe this time I can implement some of them, and we can come up with something maybe creative that I wouldn't have come up with on my own. Also, of course, this week we're doing the giveaway. If you're not familiar with the giveaway, be sure to check out the link in the description of this video. It links you to a short two-minute video uh, telling you about the giveaway and the rules and whatnot like that. That said, this being the first official video of Character Build Week, there will be a code word somewhere in this video. So be sure to listen for that and write that down. So I wanted to kick off Character Build Week with a build that I never finished. And um, as I want your guys' input every step of the way so we can do something really cool, we have the option of continuing with this build. And I'll show you what I've got and the concept I'm going for. Or uh, there's a couple more ideas we could try. And uh, we'll get into those. So this right here, this is my, I didn't really have a better name for it. This is the All-American build. I guess it's kind of what I was, the, the uh, working name for it was the All-American build. And the concept is American gun enthusiast theme. You know, I like to do the themes, like there was the Russian sniper theme, the Joker theme, you know. And then there's like specialized ones like the Utark build and things like that. And, and uh, <clears throat> so this one's theme is an American gun enthusiast. And... I wanted to have some interesting restrictions and ideas and, and themes to follow, and those are that I wanted to gear this character as if it was a gun enthusiast from America who just come down here to Bolivia to kick some ass and have some fun. So I wanted to outfit him, or in this case her, with weaponry that would all be commercially available here in the U.S. And so I thought that'd be kind of cool. So it's like, okay... That, that, that was kind of the starting point. Let, let's take a look at the gear. Let's take a look at the weapons I chose. Now, I chose the M4A1. Of course, AR-15s are rarely available in the U.S. I actually kind of wanted to go with the R5 RGP, which is a Remington AR-15. But the problem is the R5 RGP in this game, for whatever reason, only has full auto. And I don't know why. And I did not want this character to have full auto. Again, I, I was, I'm really sticking with commercially available or, you know, legally available weapons in the U.S., right? And so that's why I chose the M4A1 because I have the option to put it on single shot. Now, that said, yes, I do fire in single shot. Well, let's go ahead and let's talk about that real quick. The trigger I'm using for it is semi-auto three-round burst. I strictly fired on semi-auto because I want that real authentic feel. And it adds a fun challenge to the game. Not having a full auto assault rifle adds some challenge to the game. To balance that out, I did add a suppressor. Again, I'm sticking by the rules. You can, you know, you can get suppressors for anything in the U.S. I know not all my viewers are from here. So this is all totally, I mean, this would cost you a few grand, but yeah, you could totally, you could totally hook yourself up with all of this. Um, I do fire it only on semi-auto just for immersion. Let's go and uh, I'll talk about what other weapons I use and what other things I use to balance that out. Again, did use the suppressor to balance that out a bit. I decided it on the digital scope. Digital scope is a great scope to quick aim with and get some distance because this build doesn't have a sniper rifle. This gives you close up and medium range engagement and it's a see-through scope so it's super quick to zoom in with and you can still see your surroundings. The digital scope I know is a favorite of a lot of people. I decided just to use the 30 round magazine. Um, I'm Honestly, I'm sure you can get any kind of magazine you want here in the US but 30 round magazines are fairly, uh, fairly common. Most of the assault rifles I've actually seen that people I know have all have the vertical foregrip. So I decided to go with a vertical foregrip. Now, I have been alerted by a viewer in the past that this model they're using here is not actually a foregrip. Someone said this is actually part to a, a bipod or something or, or uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But nevertheless, I like the look of it. I, I really I went back and forth on these weapons more than any build ever before. And with all the foregrips, I just thought this one looked the best with the rifle. I mean, a lot of this is, whoopsie, a lot of this is aesthetics. For the rail mount, I looked at available uh, rail attachments you could get for AR-15s here. And personally, I'm sure you can get any one of these, but I've never seen anyone with a visible laser beam. So I went with the nice compact laser three dot, mostly for looks. I chose standard barrel because... 
you can get these in any length from super short carbine to like, you know, marksman rifle range length, right? But I think a lot of people look for like a for realistically, I know when I was looking at building an AR-15, I was looking at a medium build. A medium build still gives you accuracy and still gives you maneuverability. It's good for defense. It's good for a lot of things. So that's why I went with the standard barrel. I was thinking realistically, not necessarily what benefits the character in game. Everyone agrees that the M4A1 is a great rifle in this game. A lot of people favor this rifle, so it wasn't a bad choice. I chose to balance it out on the other side of the character with the SPAS-12. Again, you know... Um, Something that's easy to get. A lot of people have shotguns. I didn't add anything fancy to it. Actually, I'm not sure you can add much fancy to it. No, I don't think you can. I chose to go with the uh, extended magazine. I did choose the short barrel. I chose basically this is the kind of shotgun that you would see on any American Patriot gun nuts wall right here. This is a fairly, it's not a common sight, but I've known people who have weapons much like this. I chose not to suppress it, even though you can buy, of course, you can buy suppressors here. I wanted, I wanted to balance things out. I really took balance into mind with this character. And I said, okay, look, she's got a suppressed M4. She's got a suppressed pistol. We'll get to that. And so this is purely for, uh, it really gives that gun nut feel. I really think it does. For the handgun, I chose the P12, aka the H&K USP. This is one of the most common pistols. I looked at the pistols available in the game. Compare them to pistols that are popular and common in the U.S. for, you know, private and, you know, use. And the H&K USP is a pretty commonly owned pistol. And it's a good, solid pistol. A lot of people recommend for home defense and for all kinds of other things. So I said, okay, let's use this. I did choose not to use any rail attachments. I chose just to use a suppressor and an extended magazine. It gives this a lot of utility. Really, with all this together, this all-American character build really has, is, is fun to play, and I'm looking forward to playing it. I want to give you guys a few options as to whatever build we, we, we build over this next coming week, but I kind of hope you guys pick this one because I'd love to actually try this out some and see see what I can do with it. You really have the option to be sneaky and stealthy, you know, just squeezing off one shot at a time with your M4, or, of course, you can go completely hog wild with your Spaz-12 if shit hits the fan or whatever. Now, I did have some options for some other builds. I'll get to those in one second here. Let's actually, let's go back here. Let's look at the clothes. I went back and forth more on the clothes for this than I did any other character in the past. Let me tell you the things I was taking into consideration. So if you guys do want to go with this build, then you can kind of work with me here, brainstorm. This is the outfit I ended up going with. My first original outfit was all like, you know, what, like, like a militia outfit. And I, I, I did a lot of research looking at a lot of different militias, and really they wear pretty much everything, usually military surplus stuff, but they can really be comprised of anything. I looked at a lot of them and I said, you know what? No, let's just dress this character like uh, like the guys I hang out with at the range, only maybe it's a little more serious, right? So, um, and what's funny is I've, I've noticed that in the end, she came out kind of looking like the default character, like they show on the cover of the game. Not too far from that. And, uh, you know, I think that's decent. This definitely has its own unique look, but it's also not too far off of Ghost Recon Wildlands default nomad character. And so I guess I kind of hit that on the head. I think so. There's a lot of different looks you could choose. You could choose to go way over the top, you know, with a cowboy hat and a cigar and whatnot. But I thought, no, that's too, that's too stereotypical American. Let's choose something that, you know, normal people wear. Now, there is one, my, myself personally, I prefer to also wear... Because I'm not a huge fan of my character's face. I mean, her face is all right. I'm a big fan of this. Although I also, I, I try to avoid doing a hat, sunglasses, and bandana because it kind of gives you that invisible man look. It's like a little bit too much. But personally, I dig the bandana. That's, that's totally optional. But this is kind of the look I decided to go with. I don't need to go over it now because if this is selected to do over the build week, then we'll, you know change whatever and so this being build week of course i guess it's time to let's go ahead and do today's secret word today's secret word is now make sure to write that down or remember that commit that to memory and again if you're not familiar with the contest rules they are in the description there's a linked video right there it gives it's a real short and concise video that uh will give you the rules so make sure to remember today's word which is now that will add up to a movie quote 
at the end of the week. All right, so now there's some other options I wanted to explore that we could build this week. I really wanna hear from you guys. Now, if I get a lack of response or, you know, whatever, hey, I'll take the reins and uh, I'll do whatever I want. But I, I like to I like to see what happens when we work together. If you guys have seen any of my fallout building live streams and you know that, um, I built entire settlements strictly from your guys' opinions and it always comes out really cool. Something else we could do is uh, like a Yeti build. We could have like a Yeti build, right? Like a freaking crazy cold weather sniper kind of thing. That's something else we could do. This is just my standard cold weather wear here. This is nothing. I haven't really put any thought to it. I've only put thought into the All-American build. I haven't put thought into any of these, but this is something we could do. So an idea that I had. What if we did like a Yeti build? Um, another one I want to do, because I like doing loud builds. The Yeti build, of course, would be a stealthy sniper, obviously. So there's that. But I've already done so many sniper builds. I like to try to do some loud builds every once in a while. My last build was a stealthy sniper build. I would like to do a really loud build with light machine gun. Um, I'll tell you my favorite, what I favor, and uh, this is just me. I tend to really favor the M249. This has uh, been my go-to LMG, and I, I know a lot of other people like this one. I'd be totally down to do a cool LMG build, and we could do it a suppressed LMG build and use the stoner. Uh, although I'm a big fan of being loud and proud with my LMGs, we could even use uh, a, a suppressed one if we wanted to. That would be an interesting kind of stealth build. So there's a lot of things I want to try over the next week. I wanted to show you guys my All-American build here. Oh, that just reminded me as I scrolled around the front of my character, the other reason I wear the bandana is because I'm talking while I do these videos and my character's mouth is moving while I'm talking and it's really annoying, so I try to keep her face covered. That's you, that's why you'll usually see some kind of ballistic, uh, that little half mask or, or a bandana or something because my character talking while I'm talking annoys the shit out of me. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys my All-American build. I want to wanted to introduce a couple of new ideas. You know, I've done a few sniper builds. A Yeti sniper build would be kind of a cool thing. I could see a lot going behind that. I could see a lot going behind this. There's already progress done on this build. And of course, any suggestions I would take into account for this. And I would also like to do a super loud and just reckless LMG build. We all know this game is not exactly hard. I know a lot of you guys play on extreme. Me personally, of course, I just play on regular difficulty. It just works 10 times better for a YouTube channel. If I didn't have the channel, I'd probably play on extreme myself. The point I'm getting at is the game's not incredibly hard. So sometimes I like to do loud builds, things that are reckless and fun, and play it on normal difficulty. And it doing that, you up the difficulty, but you do it in your own way. You know, you're not setting a preset harder difficulty. You're making the game harder in your own way, and that depends on how you gear the character. So, so, so sometimes those kind of builds are fun. Anyway, guys, I think I've said enough for this video. Tell me what you think. Definitely tell me what you think. This week is all about me giving you guys free stuff and you giving me input and us building a character together. And on Tuesday, we'll have the fully finished with the music video and everything, everything just like I always do have in the past. Uh, I'll, have, I'll let you guys have a hand in all of that, except I'll pick the music. But I'll even let you have a hand in that too, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll see. So guys, tell me what you think. This has been long enough. I hope you guys like the idea I have for the All-American build. There's a couple other ideas, or feel free to suggest your own. All right, guys. Until next time, it's been a real pleasure. My name is Dark Dally, and I will see you all later.